struggling to see. I think this is where Jackson's height does come in useful. Um, but there's a throw in for Hampton and Richmond on the right hand side. There's, there's some protests. I'm kind of going off the body language of the players at the moment, but it's been played in and Wishart will shoot and it's just gone curling off. Truro City don't have names on their back, um, but it's played upfield into Fada Huntsy. One, the second header won by Gray, it, it drops back out to him and Donaldson is on the ball now on the edge of the Fada Huntsy there on the edge of the box. He has a chance to shoot. Oh, and it's blocked. But is there a second chance? There's shouts for a handball. Deadfield blocks that as it comes out and is cleared from the box. He'll try to find Wishart on the overlap. Wishart is in space on the overlap, takes it back, tries to cut it back for Fada Huntsy and it's a goal! Fada Huntsy scores for Hampton and Richmond. It's an excellent goal. Really well worked down that left-hand side and the Beavers go 1-0 ahead. That was beautiful and I think that was their first really good attack down the left side. They had been really kind of stuck in the right corner. But he's waiting for support and he does so well. Finds Deadfield in the centre. Deadfield out to Ravan. Ravan can look to cut in at the byline. Gets the cross in and it's just cleared. Deadfield, single hand in the air. Swings the ball in to that far post. Tries to find Inman but Inman just wide of that far post. Deflected off Truro. He's out on the right hand side for Truro City. Truro City now of course kicking left to right. Well Hampton and Richmond will be attacking right to left. It's a long ball over the top and it'll be Connor Riley Lowe who chases this down. He manages to keep it in. Inman there for the challenge but it isn't cleared and it's scored at the near post. That is a goal for Truro City. Palmer now on this right hand side. He looks to play it long over the top, trying to find Riley Lowe, the captain. He's in behind Wishart, dinks it over to the far post. It's up from Law. And Harvey looks to head in and there's a bit of miscommunication, but it does go over. Dean, with one hand raised in the air, will look to swing this one in. It goes all the way to the far post. Dre is up highest, but it's played back across and it's a scrap in the box. No one can quite clear it. It is eventually cleared. There's hands raised in the air. But they have survived. Kavanaugh will look to play it long. He almost goes for the shot himself there. It's Wishart now working it with Pit Blado. He's got Pit Blado on the overlap, but he plays it instead inside to Deadfield. Deadfield into Seymour, who's just outside the box in the centre. It's cut out well by Kavanaugh, and uh, Truro City will look to attack now. But Gray wins it back in a really dangerous position. He's surging forward. Fada Huntsy not quite communicating, and he hits, takes the shot, but it's blocked really well by Harrison. Harrison down in some pain, holding his knee. Deadfield under a bit of pressure here from Dean. But uh, Fada Huntsy now in possession. He's dropped deeper to help in possession. And uh, Seymour with a quick pass to Gray finds Pit Blado out on the left of the box. He looks to shoot, but it's blocked really well once more by that man, Edward Palmer. Hampton Richmond certainly don't look defeated yet. And it's Dan Wishart with a throw in into the box. Fada Huntsy on the end of it. Dropped back by Deathfield. Gray curls one, but it just goes over the bar. It's a long range hit, and we know he can strike them from there. And uh, sorry again about that fruity language if you're hearing that from the yeah. Truro bench. <laughs> Frustration certainly beginning to show. And I think Hampton and Richmond, despite a little wobble after that red card, certainly look like they've just come back out as they were in the first half, which is really good. Ravan now out on the right hand side, clips it in to Pit Blado, and it's a good one! 2 1! Pit Blado with the goal to put Hampton and Richmond 2 1 ahead. It's nodded back down across the goal into the centre and it's jubilant celebrations in the stands at the Beverly. Substitute Pit Blado is the one who gives the lead back to the Beavers in the, um, let me do some math here, the 78th minute. That was quick, Marcel, I enjoyed that.